Hi, I'm Stavina House and I'm a member of the Gallery One Visual Arts Center. I'm a participant in the Kittitas County Open Show and this is my virtual tour slash Zen demo. We are not in my actual studio today. We are in the gym room of my house and uh, sometimes I'll be working in my garage with power tools. Sometimes I'll be out on my patio. Sometimes I'll be out in my garden with spray paint and sometimes I'll be in here because I've got good light and a lot of space. My, um, my studio looks like a poorly packed U-Haul truck that went around a few switchbacks a little bit too fast. There's stuff all over the place. So basically my whole house ends up being parts of my studio depending on the weather and what I'm working on. To do a project like this, you're gonna need to have a table or a space that you don't mind getting a little bit of adhesive on. Uh, I have this easel which nicely folds totally flat. I picked it up at the thrift store. Other things you're going to need is uh, some sort of glass or mirror surface to glue your marbles onto. Make sure that it is well cleaned without any grease or dust on it. You're going to need to get some glue. I recommend uh, either epoxy or super glue because if you use school glue, if it gets moist, it'll slough off. If you use hot glue gun glue, when it gets warmed by the sun, it'll slough off. And if you use opaque glues it won't really look nice when the sunlight goes through it so try to use a clear epoxy make sure that you're not getting one of the ones that turns gray or black when you mix it up or you can use super glue super glue is probably best for kids that don't have the patience to wait the five to eight minutes for the epoxy to set up when it comes to marbles make sure that you don't use the round ones but that you use ones with a flat side i had a couple marbles that were broken and had flat sides you can always use your weirdo ones for something like this i actually started this um, uh, earlier, I had about a day of working on it and separating all of my marbles out into different colors. I sorted them by rainbow, so I ended up mixing my reds and my pinks, but I actually needed to separate them a little bit further. So I really recommend that you get a whole bunch of Ziploc bags, sort out your colors of marbles, and then dry lay out your pattern before you begin. I'm just going to go at it now at high speeds. I'm gonna play a little bit of music, and from here on out, there's not very much instructions. You just lay the marbles out in any sort of appealing pattern, and once you have a small section laid out, glue them all down, then move to the next section, and then move to the next section. You can do this in an abstract, you can do it in a symmetrical pattern. I really recommend that you lay things out before you put the glue on. I'm doing a radial pattern where I'm having the centerpiece as the sun and then I'm slowly making rings around it and adding in different special marbles as planets for our solar system. So without further ado, please enjoy this Zen demo of me making a giant sun catcher out of glass marbles.
out in the sunshine because it really looks great. It's not completely set yet. It's only got the soft set of five minutes on it, but what's going to happen after this is I'm actually going to let it uh, set overnight and then tomorrow I'm going to be taking this not outside like I am right now because of the wind. I'm going to take it to uh, my garage, lay down a tarp, put it up on uh, a short table, and then put some of this pour on high glass, high gloss finish over the top, and that will seal in all of the marbles. Now, I don't have to do this step. Uh, if I just had a small piece, I could probably just let it be with either the super glue or the epoxy that I had used, but I've got so much going on here and some really big pieces like that. Uh, large marble for Jupiter and this sun face that because I've got so many dimensional pieces, I really just want to have all of the gaps in between the marbles filled with some form of adhesive so that nothing pops off later on. If you do a craft like this with your kids, you'll probably be just fine with the super glue. You don't have to do anything really fancy, but there we go. We've got the solar system, the sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, the asteroid belt with Ceres. We've got Jupiter, and Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Neptune, Uranus, ah, can't remember, and little tiny Pluto hanging out right there. I'm gonna let this have a, a night to finish setting and then it'll be the pour on stuff. And then I have to take it to a frame shop and actually have a custom frame built for this. If you've got just a picture frame and you want to do this as a sun catcher, you can just pop the cardboard back off of that, glue on your marbles with the frame in place, and then put little eye screws into the wooden frame to hang it up in your house. It's a fun project. Beautiful mosaic. You can even do this for tabletops or things like that. If you do do tabletops, make sure all of your marbles are the same size. Don't do some super dimensional things because uh, that'll make it so that cups won't sit on there. But if you have all of your marbles as these little half marbles, it'll just be a nice sort of pebbly surface instead of uh, something super bumpy.